It is finally Friday, so it's time to check out your Houston happenings, brought to you by Galveston Tourism. So let's start your weekend plans with a little music. How about some concerts going on around Sounds town? Good to me. You can catch the Ice Band, Paul Wall, and Baby Bash this weekend. The rappers will hit the stage at the White Oak Music Hall tonight at 9 p.m. Tickets start at $20. Hey, JB, you remember the uh, hit song Jump by Criss Cross? Yeah. And Mariah Carey's yeah, We course. Belong Together. Yeah, well, Grammy winning super <laughs> producer Jermaine Dupri is the mastermind behind these huge hits, and he is in H Town this weekend. You can catch him in concert tomorrow at 7 p.m. at Revention Music Center. Tickets start at only 30 bucks. Okay, so we're going to move on to Houston sports. First of all, we got to say go Astros, even though they're not playing home this weekend. They will be playing home next weekend, and there are a lot of cool things happening then. Yeah. They are still, they are just doing a great it. job. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's our year this year. The Dynamo, they are also. Also undefeated at home, and tonight they're going to play interstate rival FC Dallas. Game starts at 8 o'clock, and tickets start at only $25. Wear your orange, and make sure you don't miss this huge Texas Derby at BBVA Compass Stadium tonight. And we want to say a big happy early birthday to Canada. Their big day uh, is coming up on July 1st. So why not celebrate their 150th birthday aboard the Rocky Mountaineer? This is a trip that's on my bucket list. It might be on yours as well. As soon as you look at all this video, of this gorgeous. phenomenal scenery, it is so worth checking it out. What an amazing way to see Western Canada and the Rockies. You can enjoy the scenery, the wildlife. Oh, look at that. There's a hawk right there. There's a bighorn sheep. And really looking at just gorgeous just gorgeous surroundings on the Rocky Mountaineer. Now you can check out their website, RockyMountaineer.com, and it takes you from, say, like Vancouver, going over to Banff or going to Whistler. It's a great way to see bears. Oh yeah, because <laughs> you so, want to see so them cool. from the train. <laughs> All right, she taught us how to make her delicious enchiladas on Houston Life. And this weekend, Sylvia's Enchilada Kitchen's owner, Sylvia Caceres, is sharing her grilling secrets in her South Texas backyard grilling cooking class. On the menu are beef fajitas, her mom's potato salad, Mexican-style grilled corn, and a whole lot more. It's tomorrow afternoon, 1 to 4. Tickets start at 64 bucks. The three-hour class concludes with everyone eating their Tex-Mex masterpieces. Mm, fajitas. You had me so at fajitas. Good. So the Houston Pride Parade is happening tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. in downtown Houston. The event is free and open to everyone of all ages, so you can watch and attend. Now, every year, this colorful event attracts people from all over the world. Parking is available at lots and garages downtown, but we do recommend... Maybe finding an alternate route. Take the train, oh, yeah. take the bus, Uber, Lyft. You want to find maybe a different way. For sure. Yeah. Or don't just walk. Also, don't forget the big concert tonight that you're going to be emceeing. Want to make sure we get that in there again over at, uh, at Avenida Houston yep. at Discovery Green. Yeah. Rainbow on the green, folks. Okay. It's free. Also, the Texas Garden and Home Show is happening this weekend. It's a series that's connected home and garden professionals and consumers for about 40 years big now. Deal. So if you go to the event, you can get expert advice, money-saving tips, remodeling ideas, landscape features, and everything you need for your home and garden at the show. Tickets start at 10 bucks. It's over at NRG Center this weekend. You know who else is going to be at the Texas Home and Garden Show? Who's that? Hive. Hive. If you're not familiar with Hive, it's an incredible company. Now, Hive is a family of beautifully designed, simple-to-use smart home products that can be controlled, get this, through your mobile phone. Hive is one of the leading smart home brands in the world. And... Uh, Starting this month, they are um, really making a big splash in the United States. They're using Houston as their home base. Yeah, very, very cool. A lot of people are talking about connected homes, so it's very, very timely. And one of the things that makes Hive unique is they offer smart home subscriptions rather than just individual devices, so you don't have all these high upfront costs to create a smart home. Their first offering in the U.S. is the Hive Welcome Plan. Uh, it's Welcome Home Plan, which gives you the power to adjust your heating and air conditioning, lighting, even your appliances from your phone. So you can find them at Texas Home and Garden Show tomorrow and Sunday. And get this, you can also enter for a chance to win a Hive Welcome Home Plan. Oh, that's their cool. their products and access their offers. They're going to be in Hall D, booth number 147, Zone 2. All the info, folks, is online at HiveHome.com. That is awesome. Really a cool thing. You can control everything from your smartphone. Yeah, and from 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, you can join one of six tours to learn about the marine and coastal ecosystems in Galveston. It is a free 45-minute tour. You can sign up at the Lifeguard Station on Stewart Beach. And to get more info, just visit GalvestonBeachInfo.com. And you can catch the Beachfront Fireworks Show on Sunday along the island's iconic seawall. It's sponsored by the Galveston Island Convention and Visitors 
Bureau, the fireworks show gives you a chance to really enjoy some free entertainment at the beach at night. It starts at 9 p.m. And for more information, you can go to visitgalveston.com. Transformers The Last Night is just one of the big new movies hitting the box office just in time for summer. Here's Entertainment Tonight's Nancy O'Dell with more. This week, Mark Wahlberg is back in action with the Transformers, traveling the world with some crazy action to save the day in Transformers The Last Night. We better have some skills today, buddy. In Transformers The Last Night, humans and Transformers are at odds, and the world is in danger of being destroyed unless Cade, played by Mark Wahlberg, and an unlikely team, including Josh Duhamel and Sir Anthony Hopkins, can find the hidden history of the Transformers on Earth. You want to know, don't you, why they keep coming here? One key to that history, the legendary Stonehenge, which director Michael Bay blew up. But don't worry, it was a replica. A lot of things are answered here at Stonehenge. It gets crazier and crazier every day we go on. Speaking of crazy, well, Wahlberg had a slightly unusual method to get in shape for his second time in the Transformers franchise. I was st starting to work out like crazy. I was on a strict diet, but then I would still, to keep my golf game going, I would play golf in the morning, but then I would run on the golf course. So I'd hit the ball and run, speed golf. And uh, so I ran about seven, eight miles every day and then go to work. And co-star Jamel can vouch for those golf workouts. He gets up every morning and plays 18 holes of speed golf. Every I was day. Like, when we started the movie, I was like, dude, I'm going to come and do that with you. He's like, well, we get up at 3.30, we work out, and then we go play at 5. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'll catch you on the weekend. Hang on! For Entertainment Tonight, I'm Nancy O'Dell. And now back to you in the studio. All right, Nancy, thank you so much. Before we meet our Houston SBCA Pet of the Week, here's another successful adoption story. Meet Hank. Summer Critter Camp is in full swing at the Houston SBCA, and one added bonus for kids is Aww. that they're often able to convince their parent that they need a new pet, of course. Emily's children convinced her that they should adopt a new dog, and fortunately, one of her daughters who was attending camp was an expert on which dogs were looking for new homes. And they saw Hank through the window and, of course, immediately fell in love with him. Now, Hank was surrendered to the Houston SBCA because he was a bit too big for his previous family, but he was just right for Emily and her family with his sweet disposition, social personality, and his face that just melted their hearts. He's been a hit everywhere he's gone, including a local art festival and his new doggy daycare. They had originally planned to adopt a small dog, but this big goofball, as you can see, won their heart in that loving family. So cute. Now, folks, let's meet our pet of the week. Please say hello to Kisses and Lisa Tynan <laughs> with the Houston SPC. Hi, Kisses. She does live up to her name. How did she get the name? She, well, well, we provided it for her, okay. obviously. We're very creative when it comes to naming the animals, and she might be a little nervous right now, but she is a big kisser, this one. But she's so little, what, she's like five pounds? She's about five pounds. She's only eight weeks, so she's still very, very young. She is going to stay a small dog. So is she? she's a chihuahua mix? Yeah, we think chihuahua, maybe terrier. This little black and tan marking is really typical of, like, Manchester terriers or miniature pinchers. I love her ears. Yes. She can hear everything from miles around with those radars. And at this time of year, do you guys still have a lot of cats who need to find homes? We, fortunately, oh. we had lots of really wonderful adoptions over the past couple of weeks. But yes, cats are still coming in. Kittens are still coming in. And a lot of the little kittens we've had in foster are now big enough to be available for uh, adoption. Uh, well, and you know, some of the dogs that are even the adult dogs, a huge bonus is that, you know, puppies are so cute and so great. But you can avoid the whole training process if you get one of the older dogs. It's true. Uh, a lot uh, dog of them are, thief. I know. Well. I'll just, I'll do my own thing over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. She's going to kiss you all the entire time. Uh, but yeah, a lot of our dogs are already house trained. They live with kids. They are used to being in crates. They come ready to go. Well, and that is what incre is so incredible because from the shots, vaccinations, everything, you guys essentially, yep. the animal's ready. We hand you a pet ready made. It's really fantastic. We love that. I'll be the dog handler over here. Y'all keep talking. <laughs> Done. Keep talking. It's all good. Kisses is going to find a great home, I'm <laughs> oh. sure. Lisa Tynan, thank you so much. Thank you. And for more info on the Houston SBCA and to see how you can adopt little kisses, visit. She could also be named Snuggle. <laughs> Visit HoustonSPCA.org.